just to see her success, the smile she has. And let's not just stop over there. She's now giving dawah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma adkhilhu alayna bil amni wal imani wa salamati wal islam. Yeah, I know some of you are going to be like, well, she's still wearing makeup is cute. Or her hijab is not probably as cute. This video is about second chances. Don't you forget it. This video is knowing that you can change. If you're a sister or a brother out there who is stuck to some bad habit, some dirty habit, you can change. Way of life as Q, keeping it a hundred. Before we jump into this video, I just want to say, oh my God, Subhanallah! Do you see the nur? on the sister Sana Khan's face. Do you see the, I'm so jealous, and you can look at the halal jealousy video I have over here. I'm so jealous of the nur of this sister's face. First question is my bro. What is the faith that Muslim people follow called? What is the faith that Muslim people follow called? Um, um, Allah? No. That's the name of the, the... You know, some of the most difficult things a sister has to do is wearing the hijab. It's one of the most difficult things that someone has to do. And, uh, you know, uh, us men really wouldn't understand how difficult that change can be. It's a lifestyle change. We can do maybe our beard is something, but, you know, a beard is sort of instill, you know. But uh, a, a, a hijab is completely different. But I, I just want to start off the video by saying how beautiful the sister looks. Allahumma barak laha. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase her and bless her with more. And just straight up how proud we are. Um, honestly, this is not, this is not gonna be a video about how, you know, you, you, you know, the true happiness will only be found in Islam. We know that already, don't we? It, this video is not gonna be about how, you know, the dunya just wants more for you, but Islam calms your heart. That's not what this is about. Go watch those videos, go do that. This video is about second chances, or third chances, or fourth chances, or fifth chances for some of you guys out there. You see, for me, it's like 12 chances later. This is 12 chances later that Allah pulled me back to his deen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had uh, to allow the sister Sana Khan to go down this path so that when he was ready to call her back, she would come back. You see, this is all a part of Allah's test, His story that He has for you, for your qadr. That's what it is right now. And honestly, just to see, just to see her success, the smile she has, and let's not just stop over there. She's now giving da'wah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma adkhilhu alayna bil amni wal imani wa salamati wal islam. Hu akbar, Allahu akbar. La ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. She's now giving dawah. She's reciting Quran. She's teaching us du'as. She's doing things on her online platform. Things that we don't even do sometimes. That's something to be celebrated. The fact that she saw all of that and still turned back to Allah should be celebrated. Yeah, I know some of you are going to be like, well, she's still wearing makeup is cute. Or her hijab is not probably as cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's because you're seeking perfection right now. You hold yourself to such high standards because you're actually insecure about yourself, who you really are. So you would rather hold other people to those same high standards. Nah, Habibi, la. Hold yourself to those higher standards. Let everyone work their way up. Let the sister Sana Khan work her way up back to where it needs to be. But she just needs to know and feel appreciated. I'm sure she already is. She doesn't need a, you know, a, a B-class YouTuber such as myself to praise her. She already knows what it is. Sister, we're so proud of you, mashallah. And if there's anything that people such as myself could even do for you, I don't know how I can. But if I could do something for you, just know that my, my services, my, 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 my platform, everything is available for you and for anyone else. And she's not the first person to do this. We know Zara Wasim, that video is right over here. She left it as well. This goes to show you that what's happening in the Bollywood industry, what's, what's so corrupt over there that's happening, that's causing people to come back to their faith, to the deen. This video is about second chances. And that sister has a second chance and she's doing something. Don't you and I need second chances? Shouldn't we be giving people second chances? Allah's giving us second chances. So doesn't that mean we should give people second chances? But that's all talk, isn't it? That's all talk. Yeah, I'm not talking about your dean, but what about your friend? What about you and someone who has had a falling out? Don't they deserve a second chance? Oh, no, 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 no. Huh, SQ, I forgive, but don't forget. Imagine that's how Allah treated us, subhanAllah. I forgive, but I don't forget, please. When you seek tawba, tawba, it wipes away your slate, clean. 
This video is about second chances. Don't you forget it. This video is knowing that you can change. If you're a sister or a brother out there who is stuck to some bad habit, some dirty habit, you can change. And if that habit is pornography, sex addiction, or, or masturbation, click with my partners, my Tesquia, link in the description as well. They basically has a program. They have an entire program to help you get rid of these ugly bad habits and give you that second chance that you need. But you got to give yourself a check, second chance first. Does that make sense? Copy that. If you want a second or third or fourth chance in your life to turn back to Allah, to fix yourself, to improve yourself, just know it starts from you giving yourself that chance. Give yourself that chance. Turn back to Allah. Allah will accept you. What make? How dare you? How dare you think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala won't accept you? How dare you think that Allah Azza wa Jal is so upset with you, so naraz with you, that He won't even accept you? Shame on you. The truth is that you're naraz with yourself. You're insecure with yourself. The shaitan has whispered in your ears one too many times that you're believing that Allah won't forgive you. Please. That just shows that you don't understand who Allah is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al ghafur He forgives your biggest of sins. He's al ghafar He forgives that sin that you consistently commit. You know that sin that you promised Allah that you'd stop about? You know that sin? You know what I'm talking about? That sin. He forgives it all the time. As long as you sincerely turn back to him. So this is my advice to the Sana Khans of the world and to you guys out there and to anyone else. Just know that Allah will forgive you and he will give you the second chance. But it requires you to make that effort first. Just like that sister has made. And we, and we, we just know that that sister is a, 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 a gem. A gem of a person because she's giving us all hope to know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can change us. He can help us. But Allah won't change a condition until you and I change our own conditions first. I appreciate you guys watching and listening. This was a short and sweet video. I hope you guys liked it. hope you guys benefited from this. If you think that Sana Khan would benefit from this message, do share it to her. But uh, either, even if you don't, I get the reward for it. So it doesn't really matter. So I love you all for the sake of Allah. Uh, check out some of my other video content right over here. And uh, give yourself a chance. Give yourself a chance. People can change. I'm an example of it. I'm an, ex I'm an example. People can change. People can turn a new leaf. Uh, just turn back to Allah in a sincere manner, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will take care of the rest. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think I think that's all that I have for you. But um, I guess until next time, I'm out.